Hello, and thank you everybody for tuning in to this week's episode of Spread It Out Saturdays. Yes, we know it's Sunday. So for today's episode, we are extremely happy at the great taping we had on our first episode of our podcast and show yesterday. Our guests were phenomenal, couldn't have given better information, and we can't wait to let you know who they are and to air the episode. But we wanted to really focus on some of the key statistics we talked about yesterday. So for today's workout, it's inspired by all of the wonderful stats and sometimes disappointing stats that we discussed on yesterday's day. So get on some comfy clothes, grab a bottle of water, and let's get started. According to a report by CNN Business on June 2nd, 2020, Black professionals in 2018 held just 3.3% of all executive and senior leadership roles. Among Fortune 500 companies, less than 1% of all CEOs are Black. Today, there are only four, down from six in 2012, according to Fortune. And over the past two decades, there have only been 17 Black CEOs in total. Of those, only one has been a woman, Ursula Burns, who ran Xerox from 2009 to 2016. So for the first part of our workout, we're gonna do our arms and do four push-ups in honor of those four black CEOs. While college graduation rates tend to vary every year, the averages for black men tend to hover around 40% and the averages for black women tend to hover around 49%. Thankfully, there's great programs like SEO Scholars, which is a free eight-year academic program that gets low-income public high school students to and through college with a 90% college graduation rate. So in honor of SEO and the wonderful work they do, we're going to do 90 second planks and work our ass. The SEO Career Investment Banking Program is an eight-month program focusing on the education of underrepresented individuals within financial services. So today, we're gonna to work the top part of our ads and do some good crunches, eight of them, in honor of the eight months of this program. The PFIN index measures eight key areas of personal finance knowledge. Earning, consuming, saving, investing, borrowing and managing debt, insuring, comprehending risk and uncertainty, and go-to finance information sources. According to the report, African-American adults answered only 38% of the PFIN index questions correctly compared to 55% of white adults. So for this part of the cardio workout, if you're African American, you do 38 jumping jacks. If you're Caucasian, you do 55. And if you're another race, you do somewhere in between. Student loan debt in the U.S. in 2020 is now about $1.56 trillion. It's the highest form of debt second only to mortgages, with 44.7 million total U.S. borrowers. Unfortunately, there's a 10.8 student loan delinquency or default rate, even without forbearance and loan forgiveness programs provided. So today, we're going to do 10.8 squats between 10 and 11 in honor of the 10.8% of people who unfortunately cannot pay their student loans. Well, thank you so much to our 2053 fam for tuning in. We hope you got a good workout. We hope you broke a sweat. And most importantly, we hope that you learned about some of the statistics that we discussed on the first episode of our new podcast, we show.